Hi ladies, it's Mr. Sullivan. Today we're going to look at lesson 2-4, the average rate of change. Today's learning target is I can calculate the average rate of change by examining a table of values, a function rule, or a graph. So average rate of change is something that you did learn in middle school. You just might not have heard the word average rate of change. I'm not going to say average rate of change, average rate of change. I'm going to say AROC, so that's like our abbreviation for it. So when you're finding the average rate of change, or AROC, you're finding the rate at which how fast the function's y values, which are your outputs or your ranges, are changing as compared to the function's x values or inputs or domains. So if we look, we have a graph of y equals x squared, and basically my x value changes by 1 from 0 to 1, and my y value changes by 1 from 0 to 1. When I look at the interval from 1 to 2, I jump by 1, but then when I plug in 2, I go to 4. So by definition, the average rate of change for the function y equals f of x between x equals a and x equals b, the average rate of change is simply the change in y over the change in x, or f of b minus f of a over b minus a. A familiar way you've seen this formula was way back when in middle school when you saw it like this. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, and the catch rate is simply just slope. So note, average rate change is a special name for linear functions only, and that is slope. And the reasoning why is because slope for linear functions is always constant. But now that we're in Algebra 1, we like to look at these quadratics. We look to, like, radicals, all this stuff. So we want to basically figure out, like, hmm, is it actually, like, you know, linear and all that stuff? So let's look to see how that would work. So question number one is an A rock by examining a table of values. So what we're going to do for this example right here is we want to find the average rate of change from 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. So if you think about it, these are my x values, or my a and my b. So if I look, I care about this point, and I care about this point. I do not care about my 2, 9, and I do not care about my 0, 1. So what we're going to do is we are going to find the a rock of this function by using our formula. Now, if you want to use a table of values, here's how we would write it. We would write a rock equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. How that would look is you substitute your b and your a, so I'd have f of 3 minus f of 1 over 3 minus 1. So when I plug in 3, I get 16. When I plug in 1, I get 4. And now I have 3 minus 1. What we're going to do is we're going to type that into our calculator. If I can find it. Here it is. So we're going to hit alpha y equal enter. And I'm going to have 16 minus 4 over 3 minus 1. When I hit enter, I get 6. So I can say my a rock is equal to 6. And that's my final answer. Number 2, a rock by examining a graph. Find the average rate of change over the interval 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. So if I think about it, this is my a value and this is my b value. So I'm going to set up my a rock formula, which is f of b minus f of a over b minus a. If I look, my b value is 4, so I'm going to do f of 4 minus f of 1 over 4 minus 1. One of the things that we forgot to mention is that this value will match up with this value. So basically, we need to make sure that our 4 is over our 4 and our 1 is over our 1. So when I plug in 4, I go to my graph, and I go up 
and I hit this point right here. That is a two. So f of four is two. f of one is one. So I have two minus one over four minus one. So alpha y equal enter. I get 0.3333, so I'm gonna hit math enter, enter, and I get one third. So what that basically means is that for every one I rise, my x values are changing by three. A rock by examining an equation. These are a little longer because there's a lot more work you have to do. So given the function f of x equals x squared minus 8x plus 9, determine the A rock of the function over the interval 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 9. So what that means is we want to do f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So how that would work is, our a value is 2, and our b value is 9. So what that means is we want to find out what f of 9 is, f of 2 is, and then we want to find out what 9 minus 2 is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the side of my paper and write down f of 9. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to substitute 9. So I have 9 squared minus 8 times 9 plus 9. So I have 9 squared minus 8 times 9 plus 9. And that gives me 18. Now I'm going to find f of 2. So I'm going to do 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 9. And that's going to give me 3. So now I'm going to substitute those values into my a rock formula. So when I do my substitutions, I get f of 9 is 18 minus f of 2, which is negative 3, all over 9 minus 2. Now I'm going to type that into my calculator, so alpha y equal enter, over 9 minus 2, and that gives me 3. So my a rock for this function is 3. And that's how you calculate the average rate of change. If you have any questions, email myself or Ms. Townsend.